going to start our shoehorn with 5 8 round bar, which is about 16 millimeter. I'm going to isolate a mass that will become the actual shoehorn, and then I'll work the handle section back from there. I'm going to clean this shoulder up a little bit before I start spreading the actual shoehorn portion. The cheap plastic shoehorn was about two inches wide, so I want to make sure I get this at least two inches wide before I grind it to the final shape.
I've let the roughed out blank cool down. Now I'll make a paper pattern and glue it to this so I can grind to the line and get this to look just the way I want it to. Once the contact cement dries, I can put our paper pattern on the roughed out blank and then it's off to the grinder. Black Bear Forge is sponsored by Combat Abrasives. Use the link in the video description and the coupon code BLACKBEAR10 for a discount on your next order. I'm going to go ahead and file the octagonal taper on the handle clean. I think this is just going to look better and be a little bit more special if it's got a nice smooth finish to it instead of it as forged. Now you could certainly make a forging die to do this little ball detail on here, but it's a little bit larger than the die I have that fits in my guillotine tool. So I decided to just file it. If I was gonna do a bunch of them, I'd take the time to make the die. But now it's time to go ahead and forge the contour into the actual shoehorn, then we'll be pretty much done. Although I just realized I forgot to put my touch mark on here. So I'm gonna have to try and do that cold so I don't mess this up too much. Well, this is just one of the downsides of working in a coal forge. If you turn your back on it, leave the blower going, you can ruin a day's worth of work in just a few seconds. The shoehorn part of this is absolute garbage now. It's completely burned up. No way to salvage this portion of the material. The handle is still good, so I think I will probably try to weld something on to the end of the handle and see if I can salvage this just to be able to get the project done and get the video done. I find that torch welds, whether that's an oxy fuel torch or a TIG torch, forge better than electric welds. MIG welds and stick welds just seem more likely to fail when you forge them after welding. But in any case, I'm going to avoid forging right at the weld as much as possible.
Okay, we're back to where we were before I screwed it up. If it sounds like bacon frying, that's just rain on the tin roof. Bacon would be good too, though. I'm going to take this down to 400 grit. That should leave a nice smooth finish that won't snag my socks when I'm putting my boots on in the morning. Then one last low heat all over to wire brush it and leave a nice even finish. As this cools, I'll put a little paste wax on it. I'll go ahead and power wire brush that and that gives it kind of a silvery pewter finish but isn't quite as shiny as a ground or filed finish. Well, it's time to see if this thing actually works. Couldn't be better. In fact, I think it works better than the cheap plastic one did. Hope you have time in your day to get out to your shop, make something, stay safe, wear your safety glasses. We'll see you for the next video. Bye.